Hey everybody, today I want to compare and contrast high rep squats and high rep deadlifts. So the demands are a lot different, right? We used to joke back at IFAST that uh, a set of five on your deadlift, set of three on your deadlift, was like a set of five or a set of eight on squats. I wanna, let's compare and contrast a little bit. So with the deadlift, that bar is always in your hands, is always pulling your arms down, right? You always have to oppose it somehow, right? If you just gave in to gravity, you'd collapse. Now that's partially true for um, the squat as well, but you have a little bit more of a balance point that you can maintain during your squat. So that's one thing, right? The, just the postural demands. The second major demand is you, you don't really get to rest that much in the deadlift. You can rest at the top, kind of, but you still have to hold on to the bar. And you could rest at the bottom and let go of the bar, but then you either have to come up here and you lose your whole groove, or you have to hold down here and you still have to hold your posture, right? With the squat. I can come up and I can just and keep going, right? I can, I can rest my legs at the top here. Whereas at the top of the deadlift, your glutes are maximally contracted. So they're just, you don't have that, uh, that element of balance helping you out there. So when you're writing your own training programs, you may want to consider that 15 reps on the deadlift is not the same as 15 squats in a row.